Oh shit. Sorry about that, y'all guys. So yeah. We're basically going with Yakya. Let's do this shit. If you have time to talk, let's have, you have time to start investigating. There's a fresh blood thing on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and there's a blood thing on it. There's a blood thing on the dumbbell. So on the file said a blow to the head with a blunt object it is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could been anything else. Locker room dumbbell has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Why well, we still got more to check? I've checked the blood stain. Uh Okay, uh Dude had a real complex about being weak. I heard that Chiro, I heard Chiro talked about it, right? All I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that that more than once. So I did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it. That she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Cheryl is complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Wanda's account has been added to the truth bullets section of the handbook. Let's see what Sakura is trying to say. I use this locker room all the time now. It's become the site of Cheryl's death. But why was she killed in, in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else and carried it here. She was very light. That is true. It would have been hard for someone to carry it. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry it, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She's been talking a lot lately how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Malcolm file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. You know, or myself are usually in the locker room during the day. So she probably avoided then, avoiding it. Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. Like, damn, that's cruel. Like, I don't know why Chiro tries to avoid Sa Sakura and Hina. Even though that they both l clearly invited Chiro to, to be with them. Instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However, perhaps it's a bit different for me to imagine she would have come alone. Didn't want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. And that's why Sakura, that's why Sakura and Hina were there for Chihiro, like for real. Because they were fighting Hero, like for real. So you're saying she came here, came here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but she also would have come <clears throat> someone else. It is possible, I think. Stock was kind of her answer to a section of the handbook. <laughs> now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Oh, I'm ready. What? New clothes won't magically appear by standing around here. Need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. 
He's still pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. This is our next location. Huh, this place is related to the investigation. Figure that out yourself. It's no fun if you don't. Right? Hmm. Not even a scene of crime, idiot. Hmm. Oh, I still got more check. Oh. Hmm. At least try to figure out a way we should check it with our help. Hmm. If I remember right, the car is meant to work in, without handbooks, right? What? You have any issue with it? If so, you should take it up tomorrow. Come on. He said that. Quickly and Charlie clapped his hands. Did you call for me? He has been domesticated. That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. What a fucking asshole you are, Yakuya. You need something? Yo, well, what's up? Uh, well, it's just about the car this car yeah. race. Yeah, uh, car race has been designed to interface with each of your handbooks, or e-handbooks, as it's really called. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to your gender and listen to the individual handbook. <laughs> and it's that possible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. There's some sort of rock terrace on our pool. That's only my god. That gun up there insulates a switch cheese slaughter. <laughs> and the school regulation prevents anyone but laying someone else that handbook, correct? Of course! Correct, correct. So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room and boys can only go in the boys' locker room. Oh, it's Cheryl's body being found in the girls' locker room means. <laughs> hey, Nicole, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you've been thinking. The show was found in the girls' locker room. Kel must have been able to get in there. So, in other words, is that as such, the Kel must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should pay attention to the regulations and answer as has been in front of you the entire time. Knowing your e handbook to know so it's strictly, strictly prohibited. Only the acting of loaning a handbook is prohibited, but borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of a noble to die family. So, so you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulation. Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, then you to add a little more excitement to do things. Yeah. Yeah. You trained me like a Punny little actor instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since you're they're talking, they're not people anymore, they're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow someone to, something from someone, then that means they would have to loan it. So, Why you? so sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Bianca and get your shit together. Unbelievable. Or else I'll charge you with criminal neglect. For what? Like, no more questions. Figure out the rest of your damn self. Damn. That's fine. Like, damn. Damn what assholes both, both y'all guys are. Like, both Bianca and Monokuma are fucking assholes. Being fucking assholes to Makoto, like, god damn. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental facilities, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. Main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. Harvey has been added to the True Bullets section of the handbook. Came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Is this me to figure out myself?
What the hell does that mean, bro? Mailbox here. You're coming from the inside. It's an e, e handbook. No, wait, there are three of them. But why are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. Hmm. Did you know these were here, Biakia? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead suits get delivered to this mailbox. So then there are these three handbooks belong to Junko, Junko or Makuro as she actually is, Leon and Saika. Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I merely turned on one of the handbooks and when I did, Oh, you turn on Saika's one. You're right. This is Saika's handbook. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I received earlier. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay close attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Only it's truly prohibited. Only the act of lying is truly prohibited. But so far someone else fine. <gasps> Somebody must have used one of the dead students' e handbooks. So damn. I see. Yeah, now I understand. Many all e handbooks have been added to the two books, such as the handbook. What? Hmm, hold on a second. Hold on. Very strange. One of those handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Who is it? One had quote unquote jungle thing on it, I thought of. Then one of that would not turn on with Leon's, right? I see. Makes sense, yes. So he did get punished with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Punished with baseball? What? You forgot? That he, you forgot that he got executed, right? Like, I, I think the only reason, I think the main purpose for Leon and Saika's existence, wait, hold on a second. The reason why both Leon and Saika exist in Denkarampa mainly is to serve as pretty much the baseline for all the character designs. Because if you don't know, Leon and Saika were the first two characters designed for the series. And that the and that Spike Chunzov had to keep going back to these characters for the for the basis of all the other characters. And that they got so tired of looking at these characters that they were the first two characters killed off. Care how many baseballs he hit with it, it wouldn't do shit. Mm. But he and my amazing handbooks does have one single weak point. What the? I can't hear you. Oh my god, you made it a fucking secret. That Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing that his weakness was right. Mm. Hard to say. You know why I think I think his handbook isn't actually broken. Wah -wah? But you might ask that it could how could that be? Dick. Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monkua disappeared. What just happened? Monkua said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable 
fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. I don't see any connection to the case, so it does not matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Broken even handbook and added, yeah. <laughs> okay, then we should. That's this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin the investigation in the earn, in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed your hero. <laughs> yeah, exact. Not quite. Huh? Not quite. Hmm. Well, there's still more waiting to be checked. What is there more to be checked? What is there like a gun to be checked? Or a smith counter? With a gun attached to it? Still chilling. Oh, sorry, I was meant to hit Biakia. My mistake. What do you mean by that, Biakia? Not to be exact, not quite. To be exact, not quite. Hmm. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think? You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat myself. Absolutely. I have no doubt Jessica Jack was the culprit of this case. The murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's no way else it could be. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using the bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before police can catch up to them. And what nickname did they uh, give the mysterious killer? Genocide Jack. They say kill thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Even though Genocide like Jack is actually a female. So, could one of us really be determined psychologically or a psychological killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it. And I can show you. Hmm. Alright, still more. Check. Okay, we got more. Don't make me repeat. I have the basis to believe that. I'm sure, Jessica Jack. Is there really proof? There's some where that I'd like to take you, that this will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. The evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Jiro. Evidence? Does something like that, really? Hey, you two. Oh, Hina. Big trouble. Need your help. I don't have time to play with you. We're busy. Leave us alone. Because, I mean... But it's an emergency, emergency. Come on, please, you gotta help me. I wonder what emergency, Hina. We're, we're gonna find out in the next episode to see what Hina wants. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.